Hello YouTube family. It has been a minute. Sorry that it has taken so long. I've had like a crazy last like two months so I haven't posted much but what's very exciting is that my year anniversary here in Nashville just passed. It was on May 5th was when I officially got the keys to this house my very first home that I've ever owned and the year flew by if you guys like are subscribed and everything you I'm sure have seen the old videos like my moving vlogs and like how I got the house and just the whole journey why I moved all that stuff if you've never seen it it's all on my page but yeah it's been a year in Nashville and I finally feel like my home decor is coming together it took a little bit longer than expected but honestly like I feel like we need to normalize to Taking a long time to finish your house because I feel like when you follow people they like move into their house and immediately have like a model home of their dreams and that was kind of what I thought was gonna happen and it was just like not a realistic standard for me one because COVID like made all these shipping delays and everything took a long time to come in and then also it is freaking expensive to furnish a home okay like it is a marathon not a sprint it is okay if you want to pace yourself and pace your bank account and not decorate all of your house in one moment. So I just wanted to normalize that for a second. But yeah, at the year mark, I finally feel like I'm wrapping things up. I still have my guest room and then my extra room that I am working on. Those are like my last priority. But I've gotten like my kitchen, living room, dining room, entryway, bedroom, and bathroom like all pretty much finished. So I am going to show you guys each space and just kind of give you details of where I got everything, give you the links, explain like my decor and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to obviously start with my bedroom today. I'm going to link everything that I can in the description for you. I'm not sure how to describe my style. I was thinking about it yesterday and I was like, I think it's like Scandinavian almost. It's just like a lot of neutrals, a lot of woods, creams, whites, gold and black accents. I don't really know exactly how to describe it, but let's get started. Okay, so this is my bedroom just at a glance. Um, I have my bed, two dressers, a mirror, a rug, and tables, a tree, and a chair. The bed is a king size bed. I got it from JL Furniture. I made a custom bed on their new design lab feature. Basically what it is is you go in and you customize everything from the headboard to the legs to the frame. Everything is customizable. I'll put everything that I picked on the screen and in the description if you guys want to copy it, but it's nice. The headboard is like the perfect height and the fabric is really durable and just this really pretty color and texture which I love. The bedding is from Brooklinen. I have a discount code with them. I got my sheets from them, my duvet cover, um, the comforter itself, my pillowcases, all that stuff is from them. They have really high quality stuff. This is not an ad but I'm just, I, I do have a discount code so I will share it. And then this blanket, this really pretty chunky knit throw is from Target and I need one for every single room in the house. They have multiple colors so I'm going to get one for the um, guest bed because it just looks so pretty spread across the bed. And then those two big pillows in the back are also from Target. I believe that they're the same Casaluna brand. So they're pretty affordable and all that. And then the two yellow pillows and then the long one in the front. I forget the name of where they're from, but I have the links. So I will put the links down below. But they're really like high quality hefty pillows. That's the bedding and then the art piece behind my bed is also from Target. I saw it in there and I wanted it so bad and then it was out of stock everywhere and it finally came back in stock. So it was a very popular piece but I loved it. Actually a lot of my home decor is from Target. Like looking around it's mainly all Target. <laughs> For example this end table and this lamp and this tree are also all from Target. But it's just the best. Like, it's affordable. You know, you can't go wrong. Target, if you want to work together, I wouldn't be mad. My big olive tree, you'll see when I do my, um, like, dining room video. But my, I have a really big olive tree downstairs. I get so many compliments on it. And it was from Target for under $200. And normally, giant artificial trees are, like, $600 if you, like, are wanting a really good-looking one. So this one was really affordable, too. So definitely recommend that. 
This chair is also from JL Furniture. The wood and the legs are standard, but the fur color is customizable. I will put what I got on the screen. It is just like the perfect little accent chair. I love the texture of the fur. It just adds another dimension to the room, I think. And I hate to admit it, but I do throw my laundry on it sometimes. It is a very good laundry chair, but it's cute, so. This dresser is from Kathy Kuo Home. I got the matching like tall boy dresser, but um, it's so big and so nice. It is a high quality piece of furniture that I'm definitely gonna keep. Whenever I move one day, it is gonna stay with me forever because it is just really, really durable and nice. The handles have gold little ends on them. It has 11 drawers on it and it's just this really pretty kind of taupe colored wood. And then my TV is TCL. All of the, my TVs in my house are TCL. They are my favorite brand of TV because they are so affordable and such nice quality. And I talked to my brother-in-law to getting one. He's like a gamer. And I was like, you should get a TCL. TV. I have mine. I love it. He's like, I don't know. And then he looked it up and it was the number one gaming TV for 2021, I believe. So he ended up getting one too, but it is amazing. And then these little decor pieces on top of the dresser are also mainly from Target. So this long one is this little checkered box is also from Target. So it's this candle and this little vase with this fake greenery. Honestly, I feel like I bought everything from Target because everything else was like super delayed because COVID like I mentioned, but also like I went to West Elm and Pottery Barn with my friends um, because one of my friends also got a new house and we were looking for decor for her and they have vases literally just like this, trays just like this one for like triple to quadruple the price and don't get me wrong i love pottery barn and west elm and i shop there sometimes but just for little knickknacks like this stuff i'm like target is the way to go like it is just so much more affordable and the pieces are really nice still like you'd never be able to tell that you got it from target so i got everything from there and then i just have my bible my glasses and a little candle that i've never lit before but it's just cute decor type stuff then over in this corner i have my matching dresser and and my big giant anthro mirror. I adore this mirror and I will never ever ever get rid of it. I was so nervous when I moved that the movers were going to break the mirror but thank god they did not. But yeah this dresser has seven drawers. It's very very roomy and it just fits perfectly in this little corner and then the mirror is just a really great accent piece. This is the medium size. They have a really super big one and then this one and then a smaller one. It's just a little cute accent and then my rug is from Ruggable and I personally love it. It got a lot of hate on Instagram just because it would like roll up but it wasn't the rug's fault. It was my bed was just like positioned on it weird and I didn't have anyone to help me move the bed to like straighten out the rug so it was bunched up in a couple places and it drove the Instagram people nuts. They were like, Maddie, you need to fix that rug. But I love it. It has a lot of like olive greens, a little bit of blue, yellow, and brown tones, and kind of like an Aztec print, but it's pretty muted, so it's not very aggressive. And so I just like the way that that looks. I think it looks a little bit more genuine. But I love this rug, so the haters can hate. I think it's a good rug. And then I finally got curtains. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know uh, I didn't have curtains for basically this whole year that I have lived here. And they say, if you don't have a nude neighbor, you are the nude neighbor. And I took that very seriously because I think I, I was the nude neighbor. I, <laughs> I didn't have curtains. I tried my best to not be around windows when I was dressing, but you know, things happened. So sorry to my neighbors, but I finally have curtains. I searched the internet far and freaking wide for these curtains. I wanted nice quality ones. I didn't want them to be too sheer, but I did not want them to be black out. I wanted one layer of curtain and I wanted them to go all the way to the floor and so I finally settled on these Pottery Barn ones and I know I talked about Pottery Barn earlier it's expensive these curtains are not cheap but they are so 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 nice and I searched like I tried to do it from Target I tried to get them from Amazon every ones that I ordered were just not right they were too thin and just not good quality and so I was like you know what I'm just going to do it. I'll have these curtains for a long time. So I invested in these nice curtains. So I got the 110 length, but I wanted the black poles with the little hoops 
clay clips which I got the rods and the clips from Amazon so I went cheaper on those but the clips obviously add like a couple inches to the curtains so my curtains are a little long they're kind of like draping on the floor right now I think I'm gonna have someone come and hem them so that they perfectly like match with the floor um, my mom likes the like I forget what it's called there's a word for it like where they hang on the floor she said that it looked elegant but I don't know I think I would like it if they would just like flush with the floor so I'm gonna have to have someone come out if you guys know anyone in Nashville that does that let me know but yeah so I have these curtains all throughout my house and they are the ivory color I'll put all the information in the um, description but I think that that is about it for my master bedroom I hope you guys like it I love the way that it turned out it's like my little oasis um, so if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Um, I'm going to do a little rundown of every room. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe and you can see what the rest of my house looks like. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.